Well, these days you are less likely to probably swipe and more likely to insert your credit card. Chip cards are all about keeping your credit card information safe, but as more local businesses start taking them, we all could be paying a little bit more. All new ABC 12's Anthony Sabella shows us how some businesses are passing credit card service fees onto their customers and why. Here at Fouch's Pub in Flint Township, a regular pop costs $2. But for the last few months, customers here and at other local restaurants have noticed a change when they've swiped or inserted their credit card. The sign on the door at Fouch's says it all. Use your credit or debit card and be ready to pay an extra 3.75%. Owner Roger Fouch says it all started because of these. All merchants are supposed to become compatible sometime in October. If you're not compatible, you're responsible for any fraudulent charges on a customer's credit card. To convert my old system over to a chip reader, you're still talking $7,000 in software. When he came along, they furnished all the equipment and everything else, and there's a, there's a small service fee attached on to each bill. Swaps out card processing fees that businesses normally pay for fees placed on the customer instead. Fouch says the money-saving measure is picking up steam with businesses all over the mid-Michigan area, including PD's pub in Grand Blank Township. I guarantee you I'll save this year $19,000 that'll go to PD's pub bottom line with this, uh, with this system. Meaning fewer price increases. But are customers willing to pay? Those we talked to off camera were split. But Fouch says anyone who doesn't want a fee can pay cash. My loyal, regular customers always come back, you know, and we haven't increased our prices. Which happens when costs go up. You either have to raise your prices to increase revenue or cut your expenses. And to me, this is a no-brainer. So with a $1 tip, the bill for my pop comes to 307 and that seven cents I'm now absorbing, and the folks here at Fouches and other local restaurants aren't. In Flint Township, Anthony Sabella, ABC 12 News.